The Vazel era is finally here, and with it comes enhancements to some of your favorite Cardano applications. So today, let's take a look at some of the exciting Vazel powered updates on Cardano Scan. Welcome back to Woodland Pools and welcome to the era of Vazel. Today, let's take a look at some of the cool new features added to Cardano Scan. We'll start off by looking at features that apply to everybody in the Cardano ecosystem, and at the end, we'll take a look at some power features that are really going to help with debugging for both developers and stake pool operators. Let's jump in. So first off, big shout out and thank you to the Strika team for giving us early access to the Cardano Scan site before it went live to the public. We're filming this a couple of days before the hard fork on a testnet because we wanted to make sure to have everything prepared and ready for you as soon as the hard fork happened. So while we're doing this on a testnet, all the different features that you're seeing in this video are live right now and you can play around with them yourself on Cardano Scan. So feel free to go to cardanoscan.io and play around with the site as we're going through it here and we'll go through all the new features together. So this site is a complete rebuild. Even though it looks very similar to the old Cardano Scan, everything here has been rebuilt from the ground up with Vazel features in mind. So let's take a look. A nice easy one we can start with. Let's go ahead and switch to dark mode. Okay, that is so much better. So a lot of the navigation looks very familiar. For example, if we come to blockchain, we can click on transactions. And here we see a list of all the recent transactions that have come through. And so to start off, let's go ahead and take a look at one of these transactions a little bit more closely and see some of the additional information that we can get from the transaction details screen. Okay, so all of this looks familiar, but if we scroll down here, if you remember previously on Cardano Scan, when you would look at a transaction, you would see all the UTXOs that were coming in and then all the UTXOs that were coming out, and it made navigation of transactions kind of hard to understand. If you're a developer and you're used to managing UTXOs all the time, this might be a little bit clearer to you what's going on, but now for everybody else, we have a nice clean summary of what is the result of all of these input UTXOs and these output UTXOs, we see that now instead of this view, the default output is just a summary of what happened on this transaction. So even though all these different UTXOs went in and these went out, the summary is just that this wallet sent 1 million ADA to that wallet and that's it. So really, really nice upgrade here to the user experience to make it a lot more obvious what's going on in a transaction. Really simple, but really clean. I've not seen this anywhere else before and it's a really, really nice ad. So now some of the other things we can look at in the transaction details screen, this is just a simple transaction transaction of sending some ADA from one address to another in two different wallets. But I've pulled up a few other transactions we can look at and we'll see some new information here just above the transaction hash. There are some new icons that give us an indication at a glance at what are some of the things that happened as part of this transaction. So for example, this transaction here that we're looking at, just by hovering over this, I can see that this transaction interacts with a smart contract and that it contains the minting of a native asset. If we scroll down to the summary, we can see that this person spent some amount of ADA as a fee. They interacted with this smart contract, and then the execution of that smart contract minted for them one new NFT. This next transaction contains a stake pool registration and some stake pool delegation changes. And we can see down here that here's the 500 ADA that all stake pool operators spend as part of the registration for their stake pool, and here are the resulting pool certificates. Finally, we see on this transaction, this one is a withdrawal of rewards, and again, in the summary, forget all this other stuff in the UTXOs, we see here in the summary a really easy, hey, ADA was received with nothing outbound. You just withdrew and received that much ADA as part of your rewards. Again, we're on test night, but man, it would be nice to be able to withdraw that much rewards, right? A couple of other things, if we go back to this transactions list, we can see now that for the inputs and outputs here, one of these outputs was the Happy Coin ADA handle. Cardano Scan now has a full integration into ADA handle, so the same way how you could previously search for the long form address, instead we can now search for the address that corresponds to the happy coin. And here we get the resolution of the ADA handle to that address. Similarly, this is a broader application than just ADA handle. Another feature that they've added is that any kind of affiliation that is known with a given address, one example is an ADA handle, but another example for this address, for example, that I found, we can see here that this address is known to be affiliated with Binance. And so we can see here this public label gives it a tag that says this is a Binance address. So similar to the helpful little icons that we have here as part of the transactions, we can see now that for address as well, we have these little UI helpers that give us some nice indications of different information that might be known about a given address. So that's pretty cool. But let's take a look a little bit deeper and take a look at some of the power features that are enabled by this new release. For developers and stake pool operators, this will be very helpful to be able to dig in and get some details about different transactions. But for everybody else, the fact that this information is now available to developers and stake pool operators means that usage, inspection, and maintenance of the blockchain is going to be way easier to do, which benefits the entire ecosystem as a whole. So let's take a look. If we come back and take a look at one of these smart contract transactions and we scroll down, we see here our simple summary that two ADA was sent to this address and then a little bit of ADA was sent back to two other addresses. But if we come to 
the UTXOs, we can get a little more detail here. We can see here that this address, the one that ended in 0QV, the one that received the funds, as expected, is a smart contract address. But more than that, we can see the hash and the script itself and what type of smart contract it is. There's a Plutus V2 smart contract script that came out with Vazel. And if we come back over here and look again at this datum information, we can see the datum hash, and we can see the Seabor representation of the datum, and then we can actually inspect the datum itself. If we click on here, it opens up a new tab, and we can see our datum inspector that for the Seabor of 182A, here's the datum in plain text of what was sent along with that transaction. So from a given transaction, we can inspect the value of a datum, but we can take it one step further. In this datum inspector, you can paste any datum Seabor representation and get its plain text value. So for example, let's go here, blockchain, contract, transactions, and let's just pull up an arbitrary smart contract. Let's pull up this spend smart contract here. Okay, cool. So let's come down to UTXOs. Let's take a look at the datum. Let's copy the Seabor representation. Now, obviously, we could click on inspect and view this directly, but let's say as a developer, you were doing some work and you weren't on this specific transaction page and you wanted to take a look at the value of a datum. We're going to just go over to the other tab we were just using, but you could also come to more and go to datum inspector and reach the page that way. And then from there, you can come to this datum decoder and you can paste in any value and get the plain text representation of that datum. So that's really cool. So then pulling up another smart contract transaction, we can see a couple of other interesting things. We can see here at a glance, just from these icons and also from the summary tab, that this transaction interacts with two different smart contracts. But the interesting thing is if you notice in the previous transaction we were looking at, what was consumed as part of the UTXO inputs was both the datum and the script itself. In this smart contract transaction, it takes advantage of the reference inputs that came along with Vazel. And we see that the smart contract at this address, the only thing being consumed is the datum there. But the smart contract itself sitting at that address is only just referenced as part of a reference input and is not consumed or used up. So this is a cool visual representation that we can see at a glance, this concept of reference inputs that we've talked about a lot leading up to Vazel actually in action here. We're able to execute the smart contract at this address, utilize its datum, but not consume the actual script and leave it in the same place for the next person that needs to access it. And so aside from being able to dig into the two different smart contracts that were utilized, we can also check out the collateral input that were part of this transaction as well. So another thing we can do, we've always been able to paste in a specific address and do a search for that address and get some information. But now aside from this sort of like high level overview, we can now instead come to more, click on address inspector, paste the address in, and then we get all of this detailed information, the two different formats of the address, what kind of address type it is, what network it's on, its payment and stake public keys. So all this nice and summarized just in one place. And a new added feature for stake pool operators, if we come here and take a look at blocks, and so just taking a look at a random block here, let's take a look at this block that was validated by the silo byte pool. Let's say you're that stake pool operator and you have that block hash from the transaction that you validated. You can now instead from the home screen, the same way how you would search for an address address or a transaction, if you put a filter here for blocks and you paste in a block hash, you can get taken directly to your block that you're searching for. Additionally, when we're looking at a block, we can get more details about it, the size of the block, the VRF information for the block as it was validated. We can see here the broadcasted protocol version. So this is the protocol version of the stake pool that was validating this block. We can see the operational information for the stake pool that validated it, and then also what the block version is. We're in the Babbage era here for Vazel. So a lot of really cool low-level detail that we can look into for any given block. So there you go. Lots of really cool new features added. A lot of them that everybody can use and some really cool power features for developers and stake pool operators. Welcome everybody to the Vazel era. Let us know what you think about the new Cardano scan and if nothing else, we'll see you in the next video.